you're kind of cutting out. I, I would. Did you say Walmart? Or I'm having a hard time hearing you, bro. The best way to get your flax seeds is to go to the bulk food section at Whole Foods or a health food store, and get golden organic flax seeds in the bulk food section. It'll cost you about a dollar fifty a pound, maybe two dollars a pound, and a pound of flax seeds will last you easily if you do like maybe fifteen grams a day, which is a tablespoonful a day or two tablespoonfuls a day. That'll last you one to two months for a dollar fifty. That's the and you got to grind them up though, uh, and that's the best way to do it, in my opinion. Okay. All right, thanks, Ben. Thank you, Rod. Have a great day, buddy. $1.50 a pound for flax seeds. It's $1.50 for a two-month supply or one-month supply of flax seeds, depending on how much you use. That's incredible, really. Okay, Jerry in Kansas, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Jerry. Hello. Yes, sir. What's yes. going on? How you doing? This is Jerry. I'm a 51-year-old male. Ben, I've had celiac and candida yeast for over 15 years. I spent over $100,000 with over 40 doctors. Oh, my God. a vegetable diet. Oh, my gosh. All right. Since then, I eat avocados every day. I've been following your program, Dr. Wallach's program. I did okay. a three-day juice fast here about three months ago, trying to identify any foods that might be bothering me. And then I turned around a month later, did a four-day water fast. I, okay. I can't Sounds eliminate any of the foods, but I just can't beat this yeast. The yes, you can. Jobs. Yes, you can. You can beat the yeast. Here's the deal. Eat a couple things. First of all, you may have your, your celiac disease may not be totally controlled. And that will definitely be a problem. So if it's not totally controlled, you really want to be very vigilant to symptomology and start to tease out the specific triggers, what's causing those symptoms, and then eliminate those symptoms. Uh, secondly, you may not have completely patched up your gut. You still may have damage. Even if you've controlled the celiac, you still may have damage to the gut. And that can also cause yeast. So start to patch up the gut. Get the Fucoid and Z and get the, uh, the uh, uh, digestive enzymes, ultimate enzymes after all your meals. Use apple cider vinegar. Make sure you're using the BioLumen Nightly Essence, three capsules in, in the morning, three capsules at night, as well as fermented foods. Eating less food is in your interest. Of course, you, uh, I'm sure you know about gluten and, and uh, uh, proteins that are found in grains and seeds. Yeah. Those can be problematic. But you know what? Vegetables can be problematic, too. So you want to be kind of linking any kind of symptoms to veggies that you might be eating. Certainly fruits can be a problem. Any kind of sugar can be a problem as well. Yeast is definitely beatable, but you've got to learn how to control the digestive system, watch out for problem foods, and make sure that you're using probiotics, good bacteria. There's a very important balance a balanced relationship between good bacteria in the gut and, and, uh, and yeast. They live in balance. When the good bacteria in the gut die off, the yeast overgrow. The, the, the uh, probiotics, the good bacteria, are supposed to control the yeast, but when they die off that control, uh, they, there's nothing there to control the yeast, and the yeast overpopulate or overgrow. Uh, antibiotics, even if you're eating correctly, antibiotics in the water, uh, antibiotics in fish and in dairy and in meat, all of that can kill, that kill probiotics as well. So you got to make sure that you got enough probiotic bacteria, again, the Biolumin Nightly Essence and fermented food. You're patching up the gut with the Fucoid and Z. A glutamine powder can help you patch up the gut as well, maybe a teaspoon of glutamine powder every day. Uh, also, uh, using things like noni juice, aloe juice, those can have a soothing effect on the gut. You know, the glucogel caps can also have a nice reparative effect on the gut. And same with bone soup. Make yourself some nice bone soup, chicken soup with the bones, and that can also help repair the gut. Digestive enzymes, apple cider vinegar, lecithin, bile salts, these are all wonderful strategies. And bile salts is B-I-L-E. Bile salts can all have a wonderful reparative effects on the digestive tract and also help you process your food. As long as you have the yeast, though, Jerry, you probably still have an issue with the gut. Even if, it's, even if you've, you're pretty much under control or you think you're under control, you probably do, do still have a gut issue. Okay? All right, I've been on most of those supplements you've been talking about for quite a while, and well, I've just some, done a lot of things. So you still have, well, you haven't done everything, my friend. Some, still, some, still, you still have symptoms, digestive symptoms? Yes. Okay, well, like well, what? Well like, well, like what? I, I finally got my bowels working one day, one time a day, but I don't have three bowel movements a day like I should. Well, and it's not the amount of bowel movements necessarily per day. It's, it's how, <laughs> excuse me, how close to eating a meal or eating food that you have a bowel movement. You want to have a bowel movement six hours or so uh, after a meal. It's not, if you only eat once a day, you're not going to have three bowel movements a day probably. So it depends on how much okay. you eat. What you want to look at is how many bowel movements you have after meals. If you are constipated, you have a problem evacuating, uh, your stool aren't like good solid stools those are definitely problems with the digestive system and you need Jerry you need to connect those up with food 
So it's, it's, a, it's a little bit tough, you know, it's a process, but as long as you have those issues, there's, there's some kind of food problem. You don't have, you can't have a bowel movement problem or gas or bloating or any of the other symptoms unless there's some kind of food that you're not processing correctly, and it's your job to find that food. Uh, the yeast, you don't want to look at killing off the yeast. There's strategies to kill off the yeast. Coconut oil can be used to kill off the yeast. Oregano can kill off the yeast. Cayenne can uh, help kill off the yeast. There's all these, these strategies that you'll see advertised for by people who don't know, understand nutrition uh, for killing yeast, but they're just going to come back. They grow like crazy. So it doesn't do you any good to kill the yeast. You've got to stop them uh, from, re from uh, overpopulating, and that, you, that involves the, the bacteria and the digestive process. Now, I want to take one more call, Jerry. I hope we helped you out. If you've got any more questions, feel free to either call back on our next episode or you can send me an email, ben at ksco.com. All right, thank you, buddy. Appreciate your call, man. Thank you. Okay, let's get one more in. Carl, the Truth Raider, what is up? Welcome back to the Bright Side, bro. Good morning, Ben. Good morning. I have a question for you. What sure. is in the containing properties in the sweetener known as Rejuva Sweet, the first ingredient in Beyond Tangy Tangerine? Rejuva Sweet is kind of an interesting, uh, interesting non-sweetener sweetener. I mean, it doesn't have any sugar in it, but I should say non-sugar sweetener. Uh, and I think you're referring, you said Beyond Tangy Tangerine, right? That's correct. That's the citrus. That that Rejuva sweet is a uh, is a citrus based sweetener, and it turns out that there's actually compounds in citrus that can enhance uh, that can enhance the sweetness of ordinary uh, of ordinary sweeteners. I think they, I think they use a, com a uh, compound or complex of fructose and citrus extract, and that citrus extract can bump up the sweet flavor of fructose, and uh, that, they put that in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine because vitamins don't taste very good, and if you don't have a little bit of sweetener, a little bit of flavor anyway, to uh, a sweetener, you're not going to, uh, to uh, vitamins I should say, you're not going to be, it's not going to be very palatable. And that's the problem with vitamin drinks, and that's why you don't see a lot of vitamin drinks around. But at the same time, when you drink your nutrients, you get much, much faster and more complete absorption, especially if you're dealing with a digestive health issue. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for joining us on The Bright Side. If you're interested in joining The Bright Side Ben team, I'd love to have you on my team, especially if you're a business builder. If you understand business and you want to make a lot of money selling longevity products and helping spread the word, call The Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the team or head over to brightsideben.com and click on the Join the Team link. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about hormones. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.